Good morning and welcome to another day of Bendale Bible Chapel online. Um, to open our service this morning, I'd just like to start with a small passage from the beginning of Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid in the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Amen. We're beginning with a new song this morning, so please just listen through the first time and the first verse, and then join in as we sing this first verse once again. Fly ten thousand fall still. 
what tomorrow brings. There is not day ahead you have not seen. So in all things be my life and breath. I want what you want, Lord, and nothing less. When you don't move the mountains, I'm needing you to move. When you don't part the waters, I wish I could walk through. When you don't give me answers, as I cry out to you, I will try. So, um, first, some announcements this morning. Since the sharing circle on Zoom was such an encouragement to participants, the leadership team has decided to hold something similar on the last Sunday of every month, while we can hold church in person. Um, so we plan to have a prayer and fellowship time on Sunday, January 31st at 1 p.m. And our special focus at that time is going to be prayer for the COVID numbers to go down, and for our frontline workers, for the vaccine distribution, and for wisdom and strength for our political leaders and those greatly affected by the isolation. There will also be opportunity to share in creative ways, uh, or there will be opportunity to share the creative ways you've uh, reached out to others during the lockdown. And so you'll receive a Zoom link from Cindy Westacott for this meeting in the week prior to January 31st. Uh, and if you're not already connected to Cindy Westacott, uh, by email, you can um, get connected with her, Cindy Westacott at onewayin.com. Um, other announcements for today. Um, we have so appreciated everyone's faithfulness and generosity in giving financially to Bendale and helping keep things going even when we're not meeting in person. So e-transfers can be made to the email address uh, donate at bendale.com. It's been marked for auto deposit. Um, if you want to earmark some of your donation to the building fund or maybe to the flocks, to some sort of other special part, make sure you indicate that in your e-transfer. Um, if you prefer using checks, of course, we are still picking those up here at the facility as well. And again, feel free to indicate uh, on your check or in a note enclosed if you wish to support the building fund or something else there. Um, class in the Attic will be on Zoom today at 12 noon. So please check your emails for Cindy um, to have sent out the link. And if you have any questions, comments, prayer requests, um, anything else that you need to contact us about, please feel free to email uh, info at vendale.com. So this week our prayer requests include Chuck Phillips, um, and his family, you may have heard already that Chuck Phillips' uh, stepdad, Graydon, passed away on Tuesday, January the 12th. So please pray for comfort and peace for Chuck and Annika and all of Chuck's family, friends, the people who knew Graydon well. Please pray also for healing for John Scarpino, who's having chemo every two weeks. Uh, pray for healing also for Barb and her daughter Danielle for their health problems as well. Uh, we're going to pray also for 
Peggy, or we're going to rejoice in prayer that Peggy Graham um, has finished her radiation. And uh, pre please pray for continued healing, though, as well, and uh, improvement in her mobility. And we're going to pray for strength and healing for Nina Pinnell son Terry. Uh, he's also continuing chemo every two weeks at this time. So let's just bring these things before our Father. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, we know that you are with us, that you are present among us, uh, that your will is at work even at moments where things hurt and seem wrong. Father, we know too that you rejoice in healing and helping, and we pray for healing for those among us who are fighting cancer. We pray for John Scarpino, we pray for Terry Pennell, and pray that they would be able to have their chemo be successful. Father, we're so thankful that Peggy has come to the other side of treatment herself. We pray that you continue your work of healing in her and lift her up. Father, we pray also for Chuck and Erica and all of Chuck's family and Graydon's just friends, contacts, everyone else who is affected by his passing. Father, we ask that you would be with them. Father, that you would help them as they go through this time, that they would sense your presence and know who you are. In Jesus' name, amen.
Dave will be preaching this morning um, based in Genesis once again. And the passage that um, he's kind of basing things off of, though he will of course be going in other areas as well, is Genesis 26. So Genesis 26, 1 to 11. Now there was a famine in the land, besides the earlier famine of Abram's time. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines in Gerar. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt, living in the land where I tell you to live. Stay in this land for a while, and I will be with you and will bless you. For to you and your descendants I will give all these lands and will confirm the oath I swore to your father Abraham. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and will give them all these lands. And through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because Abraham obeyed me and kept my requirements, my commands, my decrees, and my laws. So Isaac stayed in Gerar. When the men of that place asked about his wife, he said, She is my sister. Because he was afraid to say, She is my wife. He thought, None of this place will kill me on account of Rebekah because she is beautiful. When Isaac had been there a long time, Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked down from a window and saw Isaac caressing his wife, Rebekah. So Abimelech summoned Isaac and said, She is really your wife. Why did you say she is my sister? Isaac answered, Because I thought I might lose my life on account of her. Then Abimelech said, What is this you have done to us? One of the men might well have slept with your wife and would have brought guilt upon us. So Abimelech gave orders to all the people, Anyone who molests this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. <laughs> 